Okay, so in this segment of the video, we're going to dive right into the S2 member source code and take a look at what hooks and filters are available in the routine that we need to affect with our own custom code so that these custom registration options can be configured dynamically for the country code. Now the file that I have open is called custom reg fields. This file comes with a free version of S2 member and you'll find it inside your uh, WP content plugins directory inside the S2 member folder and then you'll find it nested into includes classes custom reg fields .php. Okay now we don't want to modify this file because the point of using hooks and filters is to avoid modifying the source code of the plugin itself. And that's a great thing to, uh, to do in practice because this allows you to create your own custom processing routines and hacks affecting the functionality of S2Member, but it, doing it in files of your own so that as S2Member is updated in the future, your changes are not lost. Okay, so all we're doing here is looking through the source code of S2Member to determine which hooks or filters we want to attach our own custom routines to but we're not actually going to make changes to this file. Okay, now the, the, this class, this custom registration fields class that S2Member comes with, had this very first function at the top. I'm at the top of this file, and this very first function is called custom field gen. Now, although there are many places in S2Member where custom fields are used and integrated into things like the user edit panels, the registration forms. Uh, in the case of S2 Member Pro, they are integrated into the S2 Member Pro forms. Ultimately, all of those custom registration fields are generated by this core framework function, custom field gen. So all of the things that we're going to discuss today and all of the routines that I'm going to show you how to implement will be fully compatible with all aspects of S2 Member's custom registration fields so that one set of files that you create will affect every custom registration field that is generated by S2 member. Okay, now in this function you will notice these these first three lines here. These first three lines are where S2 member performs an action. Okay, so these three lines are unimportant to the functionality of S2 member itself. These three lines are only here and you will find these like here you see another example where there's another three lines very similar to these. These are little injections that are placed by S2 member allowing developers to attach their routines to these action hooks that S2 member inserts into key places in its source code where it might be uh, important for a developer to modify something in order to integrate their application with S2 member. Now in many plugins this is the only line you would see so this do action function is something that's built into WordPress and I'm going to discuss it in detail in a moment but I just want to clarify that in most cases with other plugins this would be the only line that you would see and these two additional lines this one and this line would not be visible and the reason is because S2 member takes an additional step to provide even more power to a developer and that is it allows the function call processed by the hook here to receive an array of all defined variables within the scope of this function at the point at which the hook is fired. Okay, so in other words this line here is essentially taking all of the defined variables and then assigning references. Here you see the reference value so that whenever you receive the array of variables you're not only getting the value of all defined variables in the scope of this function but you're also receiving internal PHP references to those variables which will allow a developer to actually modify these variables of later affecting routines process later in S2 members routine so that is very powerful and now you don't even have to understand how all of that works right now okay all that's important right now is that you understand that whenever this do action function is called it is calling upon a, a particular hook name and your functions are capable of receiving an array of variables and variable references so that you can affect S2 members processing routines. Okay, So that's really all that's, that's important to understand right now. In this case, this particular hook, this do action call, would be 
passing you an array of all defined variables at the point at which this is called upon. And at this particular point in the routine, the defined variables would include the function parameters like function, field, all of the others you see here, name prefix, ID prefix, classes, and so on. Those would be the defined variables that you would receive along with references to those variables. Okay, so now in the very next segment of the video, I'm going to go and do, do a quick rundown on what references actually are. What are these additional references that you receive in it? In, 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 and instead of just getting the value of the variable, what are these additional references and how can they become useful? Okay, so we're going to cover that in the very next segment and then we're going to dive right into my S2 hacks file.